You may be wondering, do I ever need to declutter as a thrifter? Stay tuned and you'll find out the answer. As a thrifter, I definitely need to declutter, maybe more than the average person. I used to do decluttering videos back in the early days of my channel, and I thought I might bring this back for something a little different. You will have to let me know in the comments if you want to see this kind of content because I definitely have plenty of it. Decluttering is a way of life for me. I don't save things up for someday. Anytime I'm in my home trying to function and I run into clutter, I take a few minutes and get rid of it. So I'm gonna give you some of my top decluttering tips today. Are you ready? Let's get started. Tip number one, throw out donate, trash, get rid of anything that's no longer serving you that's unusable or worn out. Each time I give a tip, I'm going to show you an example of what I decluttered. So here's day one. I am currently down in the basement and this is this very cool shoe rack that we have. And I have a lot of shoes that I have taken off of here. I'm going to show you those. So these shoes, I think, are going to work for me. I just need different shoestrings, I think. So these shoes are worn out. They hurt my feet. So I took out these shoestrings. I'm going to try to put them in here. And unfortunately, both pairs here, this pair and this pair, if you look at the backs of these, they are worn out. There's holes and I've been having some, you know, feet pain, and that's what my husband said, get rid of them. So I'm going to get rid of one, two, keeping those, I think, three pairs at least. Those socks might be going too. <laughs> we'll see. I also have these very cool shelves here where we keep some of our pups and then other things, such as shoe polish. I can't tell you when the last time was that I used shoe polish. Shaky, shaky. It's dried up. That is going in the trash. I am downstairs in my basement and this is my treadmill. Here's a couple other things I'm getting rid of. I got this for free. It's a Myrtle Beach souvenir thing. This is upside down. This is a North Carolina souvenir plate. Now, I wanted to put both of those in my booth, and I did. Nobody bought them. So I found out that souvenir items don't sell. This is an extra ruler I don't need. My husband got a new blood pressure machine that he can hook up to his phone. So right away I said, can we donate the old one? And he said, yes. Melody, my friend, gave me this. I tried and tried to sell it in my booth, and no go. And then I got this stuff in a batch of brass stuff that I bought in in like a package deal at a garage sale. And none of this stuff is selling. So all of this, out you go. I'm pretty happy. Here's my pile from day one. Not bad, huh? Day number two is a bonus. You get two tips. Look for that hidden clutter and combine like items so you can reduce some of your items. Let me just give you an example. Watch the clip. I'm down here in my laundry room. In fact, my washer is running if you hear any whirring noise in the background. But I thought it might be helpful to show you my system for light bulbs. We hardly ever use 40 watts, so I may be getting rid of these altogether, but we use 60 watts. And I just took these old mixed fruit boxes and shoe boxes and took all the bulbs out of the like the cardboard containers like this of those sizes and put them in there. So basically I was able to get rid of all these cord cardboard boxes and just combine those all in boxes that I already had. I'm going to show you when I'm struggling to get rid of something. I got rid of all those shoes and I have all these practically brand new shoestrings. I have not decided what I'm going to do with those. 
If I decide before the end of the video, I will let you know. <laughs> I have a nice shoe box. I have a friend that wants those. And then I just found some old dirty newspaper. Oh, not necessarily dirty, but it was wadded up in a box of stuff that I needed to go through. So this is my start of day two. Some of you might realize that my mom lives with me and my husband. And I found all of these clothes. Ooh, I just noticed these are very stained. <laughs> I mean, this shirt. I found these in the front hall closet and I decided I needed to go through these. I had brought them from her house when she moved in with us and I kind of forgot about them. So I'm going to go through this whole stack and I'll give you an update on how many things I'm getting rid of. Okay, right out the gate here, I'm getting rid of three tops, one pair of pants, and two sweatshirts. My mom doesn't wear sweatshirts anymore because they're too hard to get over her head. Uh, cardigan sweaters work better. Um, these were never favorites of hers and I wear knit pants on her with elastic so she won't need these pants. I went through my no so little footy thingies and these are just not enough coverage for my old feet. <laughs> so I'm getting rid of all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs gone. I brought something down to the basement to put away and I saw these bags and this cardboard container here from my husband's power aids that he got for the summer. So those are trash and those will be decluttered. Actually, the bags will be going to Majestic Turnaround. I donate them there. I'm up here in my craft room. I'm about ready to show you the whole big caboodle for day two. And I wanted to talk about paper clutter. I have in my hot little hand here the Aldi's list from today, which my husband did the shopping and just left to lay on the counter in the kitchen. And then all of this is mail that I just went through. Really, there was nothing but a few coupons from Myers that I kept. I think that's it. And I do keep the envelopes when you get credit card offers <laughs> to use for other things. But all of this is trash, so that's going in my pile for today. Here's your public service announcement. Open your mail the day it comes and get rid of the garbage. Got a big stack today. All of these clothes from my mom's that don't fit her or she doesn't like anymore. This pair of socks I tried to get on my mom today and they just don't fit right. So those are they're perfectly fine for somebody else's feet, not my mom's. And then everything else I already showed you. That's a pretty big stack for one day. I'm happy. See you tomorrow. Day number three is get rid of the trash. You would be amazed at how much trash is sitting around just waiting for you to evict it. Let's look at my clip. So I'm in my bedroom cleaning today and I always keep a pile of packages of things that I've ordered just in case I want to send them back. So I've decided that I'm keeping all this stuff and all of this stuff is going to be gotten rid of today. Yay! Day number four is a repeat of get rid of the things that are no longer serving you, but it's also an added tip. When people give you items that you're not going to use, go ahead and declutter those as well. Let's watch and see what I got rid of. Hey, up in my craft room, this is going to my daughter. It's an electric blanket that the electric part doesn't work anymore. She said she can use that. And then I also have this that my friend Meredith gave me and I told her that I thought my daughter would love it and she said that was fine. So that's going to my daughter. And then this has been in our bedroom for years. It's been used for dirty laundry. It's been used for toys and it's just not needed anymore and it's huge. So it comes up to my knee <laughs> almost. No, it's past my knee. I'm sorry. So that's going to my daughter as well. So that's lots of stuff out of my house. And she's coming tonight and I'm going to give it all to her. <laughs> Yay! Day number five. Get rid of things that you thought you wanted. Have you ever been in that situation where you have something you really thought you wanted and it just sits and collects dust? 
Don't be ashamed to pass it on, throw it out, or donate it. Let's see what I got rid of. It's day five and we are in my den. I've showed you some of my den before, but just little snippets here and there because it needs a major overhaul. It is very cluttered. And this is where everything goes that needs taken care of or to die, <laughs> whatever comes first. So there's, whoops, I bumped into something. It's dangerous in here. <laughs> this is just a little snippet to show you and I am getting started. So let's see what I found on day five. This was a delayed decision. I found this at my dad's house. It does have a crack here. So I am gonna be putting it in my booth as found. I think somebody's gonna want that. It's really cool. And so it will be in my booth for sale. And then I'll try to find a picture or a video of the other item that I let go, which I actually already put in my booth. Here's the other item, this little metal box. Day number six. My tip is if you upgrade something or get something new, don't be afraid to get rid of the old item if you don't really need it. Let's see my example. I am down here in my basement again, and I got this really nice Dyson from my mom and dad's house. Um, we've been cleaning out my parents' house for three years, my brother and I, and I thought this would be something that I would like to have. I love the Dysons. So what am I going to get rid of when I'm getting something new in? Let's take a look. Eureka! This is what I'm getting rid of. This sweeper has been an okay sweeper for years for the basement, but I'm upgrading to a Dyson. So I've already got a home for this. It's going to my friend Melody here in Canton. Day number seven is to tackle those delayed decisions. Delayed decisions equals clutter. Let's see what delayed decisions I took care of today. We are going out with a bang for day seven. <laughs> here is a whole pile of paper. It's quite a bit. This is all from my den. And then there's two pens. I always check my two markers, rather. I always check my markers and highlighters every time I do a deep declutter because invariably some of them have dried up. So two markers and a highlighter. And then this pile is called Delayed Decisions. <laughs> this magazine was my dad's. And the reason I kept it is he was featured in the magazine. And I will get back to that in just a minute and show you how I made that into something cool. So I'm going to donate that magazine. And then I have these two napkin holders that were broken. I put the others in my booth and I actually put the little fish that were on them in my booth for sale without the holder. So I don't have any ideas for what to do with these. So those are going. And then this is a funny story, but funny, ha ha. Um, there was a time period of seven days after my husband got this that we could have ac activated the warranty and I tried and it didn't work and I set it aside and now it's too late. So that's going. And then these I've had for years, they're old tapes that my dad got out of the trash when he worked, when they were done with them, they would just throw them away and put a new one in or when they were almost done. And I've saved them for years. This one might've been a, a different situation because that's a new one, but my calculator doesn't print anymore. So these are out of here. That was a major delayed decision. Every time I cleaned out my den, I would hang on to them and I didn't have any calculator printer. All of this is going out for day seven. Yay! Let's add this bag to the declutter for day seven because inside is old shredded paperwork. So there's the recap for day seven. Yippee, I feel so much lighter. Now I'm gonna put the stuff I'm getting rid of in that bag and get it out of here. Here's what I wanted to show you from the magazine. This picture of my dad when he was three or four years old with my grandpa's truck. Oops, I'm getting the glare or reflection. 
this was in that magazine. There's my dad when he was in grade school. So Melody, oops, <laughs> Melody suggested I paint this frame or get a black frame, but I'm going to paint this one black and then that way the picture will pop. But that's my little area for my dad there, one of them. So I was so tickled that I found that magazine and made that decision. I hope you had fun and maybe learned a little something about decluttering today. If this video spoke to you, I do have a playlist from back in the day that I will link in the comments below and I'll put it up in the cards too for you. I would love to know your feedback on this video. I don't want to produce videos that my audience doesn't want just because it's something that I enjoy doing. So please let me know, thumbs up or thumbs down if you want to see more of this type of content because I've got a lot of clutter. <laughs> That's it for today. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Day lump. <laughs> Day lumber thubbin'. <laughs>